just getting set up on these rock faces down here. Uh, it's a little bit blowy, so I'm hoping you can hear me. I'm in behind the rocks here. We went out for a bit of a walk this morning. seen a thing. It was a cracker morning, a bit brisk, but um, didn't glass up anything. So we've decided to come back and basically sit in a similar location to where I was the day prior and had those uh, three or four sand behinds and uh, yearling come out in front of me. So we're hoping they're creatures of habit. Bit of a rest day for me today. I'm just going to listen to my body for a change, and I've decided to sit here off this uh, opposite this gully here that gives me ranges out to about 700 yards, and I've got the long range rig out. She hadn't she hadn't been dusted off. Just scared the bejesus out of me. The boys on the radio. Yeah, hadn't been dusted off for a while. So yeah, I'm going to set it up here now um, and sit here for the afternoon. There is a bit of a storm on the way, so look out. Don't tell me they've got another deer down. Not that I carried much of it out, but uh, either way, they've headed up back into the bush and um, I think they're gonna end up working back to where we were yesterday afternoon, sitting and waiting up high for those samba to come back, but never eventuated. But it was a good plan, but that's how I can, ha that's how I can go. We'll see if we can beat the jet boil got this new stuff it's made by a company called Radix I've had it for probably about a month or so I got it direct from their website in New Zealand pretty quick delivery actually it was about a week so this is the first taste test and this one is Moroccan styled wild venison so as soon as this 400 ml of water boils up I'm going to give it a crack so it's got to be better than some of the others make sure I take that thing out <laughs> All right, let's give her a crack. 400 ml of water. And we'll just give her a bit of a stir up with me, me spork. Here we go. I suppose I better look at the time. 10 past four, taste test. Well, I won't say that's bad. I'm just waiting for those 10 minutes to go by. And if you've happened to notice this beanie, uh, Maddie Webb and his lovely wife, Danielle, made two of them for me and sent them to me direct. Um, a massive thank you because they're fantastic. A little bit itchy on my bald noggin to start off with, but I can tell you now, um, once I've had it on and worn it for a while, I'm thinking, hmm, you take it off and you soon know you're cold. So a massive thank you, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Let's see if I can do this without spilling it. Apparently you just tear this. Yeah, so far so good. A little bit off. I if it tears on the other side. Yeah. I'll tell you what, if you don't like probably spicy food, this may not be the one for you. It smells pretty good though. Give her a crack. Oh, 
far from bad. <laughs> Another plan is required. It's pouring rain and uh, yeah, I'm the only silly bugger standing out in that paddock or sitting in that paddock. So wrong choice of weapon again today. So basically what I'll do is see what this rain does over the next 20 minutes or whatever and I might grab the lightweight 7mm and see if I can go and walk one up. Probably in the dark here, the sun's just about to set. Good shooting, Ben. It's dark, eh? Yeah. Thank God he stopped in that tree, Ben. Top job, mate. Yeah. Top job. It pays to wait to the <laughs> absolute death knock, doesn't it? Yeah, come right at right the end. Beautiful shot. 300 WSM. Yeah. Certainly did the job. Well, now the work begins. Boys going to start with the back straps, and work under the wheels, and then uh, Ben's going to take a nice little trophy there. We've got plenty of meat for the week, so this is just a bonus. And we're going home tomorrow morning, so uh, it's a little bit like uh, what happens in the movies, boys. Mm -hmm.